Alright guys, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a quick review on these um, snake dividers I got here. Snake tub dividers, I should say, I got here. So this here is Sandy Pants uh, tub. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, it's uh, Sandy's tub. I got these dividers. And they came with all these little... Uh, Velcro pieces. Freedom Beer gives you quite a few extras. But yeah, this just goes here. I have all small snakes I use this for, so I'm just going to punch out this little area right here. And how it works is I always have like the this side facing to the front and this side to the back. So it looks better, but what I've done is I have stuck the these little things come with little he adhesive on the back already. You can see they come in pairs. But you just take off this little plastic and then it sticks right wherever you want. And I've put the soft ones, because you know Velcro, there's a hard side and a soft side. You put we want to put the soft ones on the tub so that when you take this out. See, there's the rough, all the rough ones are on the removable plastic. So, when I stick this bad boy down in here, like so, it creates a nice, basically, barrier for my snake. Now let me hook her up with the hide pour her water back over here stick no longer needed and I'm just gonna put that right in there like that bam so yep yeah. this is the uh, third tub I've done this to sandy pants there that's my uh, pastel Genetic Stripe, 100% Het Exanthic. Again, she's doing awesome. Just ate, just shed a little bit ago. Yep. So, yep, this is what this one looks like. I've already done these two. This is um, Gretel's. Gosh, she's got her water. And as you can see, punched out a little hole. I sanded all and sand the inside of this when you cut it because you don't want any sharp edges. And yep, there's her hide. She is my man. Pastel, 100% Het Xanthic, 100% Het Clown. And I got my Freedom Breeder FB40 tubs in. So, making a video on building that Freedom Breeder FB40 rack very soon. Actually, right after this video, I am going to... Lowe's to grab the materials. So yep, these dividers, they're awesome, especially if you put smaller stakes in big tubs like I do, because, you know, I just don't throw them in small little tubs like most people do. That's besides the point. And for her, she's the most kind of finicky snakes I have besides these two new ones. These two new ones are still adjusting, but, so I have a cold hide at the front, and then the warm hide behind the barrier. And then I did the same with Axel's tub. This one comes out a little tough, but once you get it out a little bit, slides nice. Boom, again, punch that out. And Axel boy is right there. Bam, chilling like a villain. Boom. So yeah, these things are pretty sweet. Um, definitely would recommend them. Pretty much any size snake can fit because you can punch it out all the way to that. Ball python shouldn't get much bigger than that. Bam, there we go. But yeah, these dividers are pretty sweet, guys. Definitely would recommend. Thank you, Freedom Breeder. And another thing, good thing about Freedom Breeder is I ordered six tubs. Two came slightly damaged. Just sent Freedom Breeder a email and pictures. Said, hey guys, got these awesome tubs, but unfortunately two are damaged. They just 
sent me a FedEx tracking label of two new ones they sent, and they just going to let me keep these broken ones. So I'm going to glue these broken ones. And then I'll have eight FB40 tubs, which I might be putting a couple colonies of mice in, probably. That's what these are probably going to be used for, because I need to get some mice going for these guys. Well, yep, let's put Sandy Pants back here, see, so let her check out her new apartment. But, yeah, guys, get that shit.